Now what you see on the screen is open camera on a November morning looking at a tree and it looks pretty dark and gloomy doesn't it? So we're going to take some bracketed shots and we're going to spice this up a little bit. So first thing I'm going to show you as I can hear a helicopter coming from above is the photo settings and in photo settings we have exposure bracketing shots and you can see at the moment I'm set to one up and one down meaning the radio button of number one so I'm just going to go back and then this is a following on to Vibrance HDR the helicopter I believe it could be an end pass is just to my left you could probably hear it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as is should we just wait for the helicopter to go past um, I actually think it could be a military helicopter it's just to my left at the back now actually I'm not sure it's definitely not the end pass anyway doesn't matter it's disappeared so what I'm going to do now is just leave it you see it's extremely dark and I'm going to hit the take a camera button blue button three two one And it's taken okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to readjust the manual exposure if you like and I'm going to click the sky and quite honestly that's made it go even darker so let's go three two one three and then the last one we're going to do this time I'm going to see this the uh, central uh, tree at the bottom very dark I'm going to tap that and you'll see that I think we're just slightly behind on the recording at the moment there we go so you can see the whole scene has changed now and I'm going to take three of those notice I can see bottom left and bottom right the grass and the field has got a lot more detail That's interesting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit open camera and I want to try and do these sessions, these teaching sessions in one go and it makes life a lot better at the back end on post video editing because if I don't need to do any I can make more teaching videos. So I'm going to open recent photos. Okay, that's fine. And this time I'm going to see the set. It's quite interesting because when you look at these, open recent, in, in fact I'm not going to do that, I'm going to go open photos. Same thing, there we go, look. Can you see that what we've got is high, middle and low, high, middle and low, not that one. So according to this I thought we did three sets, didn't we? Let's see what happens when we go to press, press and press to select and then open. Of course we've got people shooting guns as well which is very useful. I'm wearing a yellow jacket today and I'm quite glad I am. There's our HDR. Press AB to see what it was before and what it was after. Let's go back and just do one more. Then we can go into open photos. That's the three. Let's choose another three down here. Two selected, three selected, and open. A lot more definition in the sky and a lot more definition in the grass and the green areas. So let me just hit A, B. That's what it was like on one of the photos before and this is all three combined. Remember we can brighten or darken this. I'm not going to at the moment. The thing I'm really looking for here, quite honestly, is... I'm just going to save that. 
is the very bright one at the start that seems to be missing at the moment from our folder. Let's just quit Vibrance HDR. Let's go up and have a look at the photos themselves. And according to that look, there's, there is six, there's seven. Not exactly, yes, of course there's seven. So what we need to do is we need to take the other one again. Of course, this is quite a delicate moment here because what we're doing is we're using a mobile phone on a tripod outdoors. I'm going to click the very dark area. There is our dark area and now click to take the three shots. One, two, three. And there's a little dog in scene just coming up. So what we can do now, let the dog just walk past. I'm sure there's an owner as well coming. Let me just pause the video a second. To finish this off then, we're back in open camera sorry, a Vibrance HDR from Open Camera, and we've got our three pictures very much different. We've got a light, a middle, and a dark, so let's open that up. Let's see the process, and this time we can actually see that we have got evidence of sky, and we've got a, quite a lot of texture on the bottom here. Let's see if we can just go in and see a little bit. That's to finish this off. I will save this. And that should be the end of taking some photographs bracketed at one stop to do with Vibrance HDR 